course two. We are going to be in lesson number seven, and we are going to be looking at basically a geometry lesson or introductory to geometry with lines, angles, and planes. And so I'm going to have you turn to page 46, and we're going to look at a couple of um, couple of things here. All right. First of all. Um, I would like to begin by looking at the blue terms in the first two paragraphs. First of all, we have what's called a plane. All right, if we have a piece of paper, right, and we took a, a pole and put it through this piece of paper, that's a bad pole, and it kept going all the way through Okay, this piece of paper right here would be called a plane. And we can put a couple of different things on a plane. We could have three different points on a plane, just A, B, and C, which indicate that there is a, there is a, uh, a sheet of paper. If you only have two points, that's basically the definition of a line. And this doesn't necessarily give any depth this way so again kind of an idea of geometry when it comes to when it comes to these things so that's what we would call a plane okay now a line I just indicated is this except for the fact I want to amend that just a little bit a line goes indefinitely in both directions and it never ends it just keeps going we can have a point on a line and call that A, but that is just a point, just like this one, okay? But the line has two arrows that indicate going in that direction indefinitely. So you've learned plane, you've learned line, and you've learned point. All those are, are shown right here in these little uh, descriptions of what I've drawn. So let's, let's really look at a line, okay? So here is a line. I'm going to put an arrowhead there and an arrowhead there. And we're going to put two points on the line. And we're going to do this in red so that you can see this. There's point A and point B. So how do we write or how do we show that this is a line, okay? A line is this, AB and it's got just a little line over it with two arrows. That's how we would name this line, okay? If it is a ray, a ray is a little bit different than a line. A ray is taking this point and this point and basically doing this. You'll notice that a ray does not have the two arrows, right? So a ray would be a b and then to demonstrate what a ray is um, we can we can uh, show that with just an arrow with one arrow okay so that is an that is a um, that's a ray so the line has two arrows a ray has one arrow and it can be in either direction and then there's one more there's a segment. What is a segment? Well, a segment is is kind of the same as a ray, um, but it's just the in-between of those two points. So we would say segment AB, and then there would be a line with no arrows on it. So line has two arrows, ray has one, segment has none. Okay? All right. So we can measure these these segments and so forth. So let's look at example one on page 47. It says, use symbols to name a line, two rays, and a segment in the figure on the right. All right, so basically they give us the exact same picture. We've got A and we've got point B. All right, so let's start with a line. Well, a line can be either A, B with two arrows, or if we went the opposite way, it could be B, A with two arrows. Okay, pretty easy. Um, there's two rays, 
right? It could be A, B going this way, or it could be B, A going this way, okay? Actually, the arrows, the arrows basically go the same way. You always put them, let me redo that, you always put them um, to the arrow to the right. You just translate the B and A and the A and B. And then segment, okay? Segment, same thing. It's A, B or B, A. So there were six answers to that little section there. That's pretty easy, okay? All right, let's get some other uh, blue terms here. Uh, we talked about a plane, right? We looked at a plane and we looked at the pole, right? Going through that plane. So noting that, right? We can see that that is true and we can see that there's at least three points on a plane to make that exist. So, what if we put a point out here, and we draw a line through that point, and we draw another line through that point, and they seem to cross right in the middle. What do we call that? We call that an intersect. Kind of like an intersection, right? Just about. And they don't have to be per completely perpendicular. Perpendicular means they're exactly crossing, okay? They don't have to be exactly crossing in order to call it an intersect, okay? So that's when an intersect, and it intersects at a certain point, okay? And um, we can also name a bunch of different points on this if we really wanted to. And in your textbook, they have A, B, and then they have C, D, and then they call this middle point M. All right, so what's a parallel line? Well, a parallel line are two lines that just do not ever come any closer than this, and they just continue on indefinitely in either direction. Parallel lines, you can think of it like train tracks, right? Parallel lines. And then if we want to show perpendicular, like I mentioned the, just a little while ago, perpendicular, is like the cross. It's completely square so that you have a 90 degree angle in every single one of these uh, quadrants. So perpendicular is exactly square and it requires a 90 degree angle. All right, so there's a couple ways to talk about um, showing parallel, okay? So if there are lines that are parallel and we have Q, and we have R, and then we have S, and then we have T. How can we show that? Okay, parallel lines. So we would say QR, line QR, there's two arrows, is parallel to, and see that, see that um, symbol, the two lines straight up, parallel to S and T, and then we would put two arrows there. So we could say the parallel to. Now, what about perpendicular? Okay, let's assign some of these. Um, let's call this M, let's call this N, let's call this O, and let's call this P. So we would say line, there's an arrow, an arrow, M, N is perpendicular to line O, P. And we're looking at that symbol. It's like an upside down T. That's perpendicular. And parallel, right, is two lines completely even towards each other. Okay, that's pretty easy. Let's look at angles for a second. Okay, if we have an angle, and let's call this a 30 degree angle. Maybe it's a 50 degree angle, whatever, it doesn't matter. An angle just simply means that there is a, there is a some type of, um, hypotenuse or or ramp I'll call it okay so let's say that you know here's the ground and and you're walking right and you're walking this way you're gonna walk up the angle okay whatever that is right is gonna make you um, stressed in your legs because it takes effort to go up okay the same is true is we can have an angle that goes down as well okay and we would call that a decline, so incline, decline, all right? This point right here, the start, okay, is either the origin or vertex. 
both are termed right there. The sides would be just simply these, these uh, legs that we would call um, part of the angle. Okay, so there's a couple of different kinds of angles. All right, this angle right here, where we have a box right there, is always called a right angle. If the angle is less than 90 degrees, okay, because this is 90 degrees, if it's less than 90 degrees, let's say it's 30, it's acute. If it is greater than 90 degrees, so it's completely, let's call this 135, is obtuse. Okay, so that's how angles are demonstrated and shown. <clears throat> and then there's one last one. So if you have the vertex right here and it's straight here and straight here, it's a straight angle. Okay, pretty easy to understand. All right, so we're going to look at the, uh, the examples here. Example three says what's parallel? To line AB. Well, line AB runs this way, okay? Here's AB, and then parallel would be down here and CD. So we would say line CD. So A, the first question A, we would say line CD. That's how we would answer that. B says, which is perpendicular? Well, perpendicular would be line BD. And notice that also has arrows on both of it and goes indefinitely. So that's how we answer those kinds of questions. And again, all the other questions that are on here are very similar to that. Okay? So, learned a couple things um, just in review. Looked at um, geometry with lines, segments, rays, and then looked at the difference between an intersect, a parallel line, perpendicular line. We looked at angles, a vertex, talked about sides. We looked at right acute, straight, um, and obtuse angles, and then we answered questions on all of those things. That's your lesson. Hopefully you do well. If you have any questions, ask me.